one, not even the king, can stop the representatives of the people from continuing their work. Wherever its members are gathered, the Assemblée Nationale lives. That is why we swear never to part and to gather wherever circumstances require it until a constitution is established for the kingdom. Come here, Melanie. I salute you. Monsieur, we have just burned our bridges. Nothing and no one can prevent justice from triumphing in this kingdom. Let us not claim victory too soon, Maximilian. And don't forget what we agreed on, if things were to take a turn for the worse. His Lordship the King's brother has answered my message. He has agreed to see me, despite the circumstances. The Comte de Provence? Do you trust him? If he still has any influence over the King, we must try. I shall leave immediately for the Luxembourg Palace. Be careful, Antoine. I implore you. The whole quartier is ablaze. Monsieur Lavoisier went to the Palais du Luxembourg. But where is Monsieur Bailly? Monsieur, this is the last time we shall meet. From now on, we shall do without your help. Eh bien, are you waiting for an invitation to leave? Your Majesty, dare we ask what brought this disgrace upon us? The Count's work has given me complete satisfaction. Your essences and optics are no longer of any use to us. Rejoice, learned scholars. You may now dedicate yourselves to the cause of the Vanoupier. Just a moment. Are we being rebuked for our actions at the Estates General? But Your Majesty, you are the one who convened this assembly. Leave here at once, monsieur, before you say anything you might regret. made of neither flesh nor blood. You are an automat like those who committed this massacre. I have received no such command. I am carrying out a mission on the orders of the Queen. Your friend on Place Saint-Marie informed me of your intentions. <sighs> Alas. I was not able to reach the Palais de Justice. I fear that the soul of Monseigneur de Lafarre is lost forever. Was he killed? What has been done to him? 
is a fate worse than death. Far worse. But I could go no further. There were so many bodies. So many innocents strewn about the square. The air there. There was something sinister about it. I felt it poisoning me, body and soul. As for getting back to the Société, it's hopeless. The streets are teeming with machines. But the machine that is wreaking havoc in the area around the Palais is colossal. Much, much larger than yourself. What's more, the soul of His Excellency the Bishop has been imprisoned within this monstrous machine. I'm certain of it. Have you seen the flames coming from the Palais? I don't think anyone... Henri de Lafarre, Bishop of Nancy, ask the Lord to bless this assembly and watch over this meeting of the Estates General. Let us not turn a blind eye to the misfortunes of a populace who is condemned to the most abject poverty, for there is no greater sin than to ignore the suffering of one's brethren. of the court is an insult to the misery that reigns in our lands. In such dark times, how can one conceive of hiding away to play shepherdess or tinker with clockwork contraptions? You had broken? I do not know. I only touched this ring. Monseigneur de la Farce ring. Artoulisson. Whoever you are, help him, please. Lord, let not that his soul be forever lost. Make haste, I beg of you. Take this to the clerk's office at the Chatelet.
Monseigneur Monseigneur, where are you Monsieur Lavoisier has fallen into a trap. Suzanne, just a bit more! We're almost there! was no longer sustainable, Your Majesty. Your mechanical revolution has changed the face of the kingdom, but the coffers are woefully empty. The debt, Monsieur Necker. This debt that you and your banking friends helped to create for your own benefit, and which is now forcing us to levy new taxes. Will my subjects be able to bear another tax? Yes, Your Majesty, as long as it is distributed fairly. 
the representatives of the nobility, the clergy, and the third estate must come to an agreement. That is why we have convened the estates general. Tomorrow you are to preside over the opening ceremonies. Oh, uh, your estates general. Nothing good can come of it. You have roused the spirit of rebellion. All I hear about are their damned cahiers de doléance. My rightful enjoyment is being challenged. The streets of Versailles are teeming with loudmouth fanatics with sacrilegious thoughts. Tell me, Monsieur le Ministre, have you purposely set this army of the unwashed against me? Your Majesty, I have always been your most faithful servant. Beware, Necker. Beware. I have a surprise in store for anyone who dares attack my throne. I must disappear and hope that things will one day turn to my advantage. In truth, the timing is excellent. According to my informants, the king is planning a coup de force against the Third Estate. I think it's high time for all of us to go underground with you. Once we're hidden in the catacombs, we can prepare a counter-offensive in peace. Does the Duke approve of this withdrawal? No, oh, that fool. He's indecisive as usual. Always busy dreaming about his cousin's crown. But I've prepared the terrain. He will let me do as I please as long as I serve his interests. Look at them, parading around like peacocks. These scoundrels, rotten to their very core. See how they proudly display their vices and shameful privileges, tirelessly working to drag morality through the mud, trampling love itself. The Queen is said to have read your liaison before her husband banned it. It's hilarious, isn't it? I'm not surprised. No matter how hard I work to denounce their immoral practices, the aristocrats saw my novel as nothing more than a light-hearted bit of fluff. How naive I was to imagine that my pen could slice away the gangrene of their debauchery. Well, fortunately, you have more than one string to your bow, Mon Capitaine. the Duke d'Orléans' faithful retainer. He was to prepare the way for his takeover, and now he has become one of the King's most bloodthirsty automats. How ironic.
That's enough, Monsieur Le Comte. My assistants and I are exhausted. We're not grave diggers, à la fin. Oh, I understand. The task you have been given does not please you. Perhaps you do not find it worthy of your high qualifications. Indeed. My family has been dedicated to serving the kingdom for over a century, and you cannot ignore what it has cost us. I refuse to fall that low. Very well. As you wish. Since this is the case, you will have a more prestigious assignment starting today. Was there anything else? What about my assistants? Will they come with me? Unfortunately not, mon ami. But I promise you that they will never complain about their fate again. Monsieur le Comte! Monsieur le Comte, are you there? The prisoners, they're suffering! What is the meaning of this? As promised, I have interceded on your behalf. The King has named you Gouverneur de la Bastille. Do you realize what an honor this is? Put an end to this sinister farce, Monsieur le Comte. Order your machines to unhand me at once. Ah! Listen to my voice, mon ami. Nothing but my voice. Sentences delivered by court order are nothing more than cowardly murders. Barbaric crimes committed legally in the name of the entire nation. These cruel laws are the doing of the tyrants who rule us. They are the chains they have always used to oppress the human race. And that, mes amis, is why the death penalty must be abolished. Well said. Happy birthday, my sweet daughter. I can't believe it. The dancer you promised me. She's magnificent. You're the best papa ever. <laughs> Hello. Tell me, will you give her a name?
That's an ice. Pour la mort de Dieu. Run and hide. What do you mean, Papa? Hurry, I beg you. The Count is at our door. He shall take us away. Good heavens. Don't worry about me. Run, I say. Run! Where could she have escaped to? I should keep looking. What do you want with me? Was to steal my dancer? I'm merely obeying the king, mademoiselle. Don't be afraid. You and your beloved machine will soon be reunited. I give you my word. <laughs> Voila! Here we are. Do you see that window? That's where she's waiting for you. You'll stay with me always, Miss Pa. Without you, one of me, I'd be all alone. Covered in astronomical symbols. <sighs> it's no use. I can't get it open. I should show this to Monsieur B. Monsieur B. I found this box with astronomical symbols on it. I believe it belongs to Vaucanson's daughter. Atanias's secret box. I built it with my own hands. It was my gift to her, on her 15th birthday. I wasn't able to open it. Naturellement. 
Atanias and I are the only ones who know how. Allow me. You must arrange the planets the way they were aligned on the day of Atanias' birth. Voila, like this. What's this locket? Atanias is always wearing this. It contains a portrait of her late mother. She said it was her most cherished possession in all the world. To think the poor child never knew her own mother. My daughter, will you never listen? This machine belongs to the king, Ulusave. There's nothing I can do about it. Did he also order you to torture her? The king wants me to make some improvements. And you obey him just like that? That's enough, Atenais. Let me work. And from now on, I forbid you from coming in here without my permission. He stopped shouting. The doctors are with him. When will they let me hold him? Don't worry. I'm sure oh. that... <gasps> oh, look! He's moving! My son! Oh, my son! Grâce à Dieu! We've done it! He's alive, Gabrielle! Yes, my queen, he has been saved! Praise be to the good Dr. Le Manier! Grâce à Dieu! What's going on, Gabrielle? Dear, stop that, Your Majesty! Silence, everyone! Who is the Hear my voice! My child! Seigneur! Oh. 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 Mon Dieu! What on earth? Your Majesty, we must retreat! Be with you! Go! Oh, oh my queen! Oh, no! Let me see him! No, madam. It is over. You must go to her side. No, my son. My darling angel. <laughs> Our plan is foolproof. Monsieur Cléry will be waiting for you at Gros Caillou at the appointed time. But I warn you, do not be late. Don't worry, monsieur. I will not fail you. Very well. As for the rest, everything is explained in this letter. Mesdames, the die is cast. In a week, God willing, you will be in Vienna, and the children under the Emperor's protection. 
quiet. Someone is coming. Monsieur, you must leave. Your Grace. Monsieur, to what do we owe this honor? Mesdames, we are in grave danger. In Paris, the people are up in arms. I've been informed that the rebels are marching on the palace. What do you mean? There is no need to be alarmed. You are to be taken to saint Cloud and placed under competent protection. Have your people prepare your things. You will leave Versailles in an hour. Good heavens, my queen. How will I get to the children? Oh, mon dieu. All is lost. The key! But I gave it to you earlier! Please, it's no matter. Once again, we were treated to a charming show. Oh, it was much more than that, Monsieur de Vaucanson. This automatis masterpiece. A mechanical marvel. It could do much more than dance, ne croyez-vous pas? States General brandish the threat of rebellion. There is plotting afoot. They are stirring up the populace. Worse, they are making pacts. A number of representatives of the nobility and the clergy have taken up the cause of the Third Estate. As for my army, there is not a man among them I can trust. That is why I have made new arrangements for you. From now on, the Swiss Guard will no longer be protecting you. Then who will, my love? Take a look for yourself. And be assured you are in sturdier hands. Uh, what... Uh, whatever do you mean? Isn't that... Rutia? Monsieur Vaucanson's dancing doll? Appearances can be deceiving, madame. The Count has made extraordinary improvements to this automat. Aegis, this is Her Majesty the Queen. 
You are now to serve her. Make sure no harm comes to her and obey the orders she will give you. Madame, I am at your service. Patrulissa? He can speak. This makes no sense. This is sorcery. Make no mistake, madame. It is science, which we owe to the work of the Count. And which will soon be made known to the entire world. 